Hi, EO. Welcome to my office. Welcome Hi, to Matt Grocer. Wow, beautiful office. Thank you for having us. Thank you. Thanks also for having me. So we are here to do a 25 questions, getting to know you. Uh, EO's grown to be a really huge organization and we'd love our members to get to know you more. So I'll just start with a few questions, okay? So Adith, what is your typical day like? Well, I have three kinds of days usually. So I have my weekdays with some of them with EO and some of them with Medgrocer. And I also have my weekend days with uh, usually with my kids, with my family. So my typical day on a normal day would be to wake up at about 8 to 9, um, do a little bit of um, coffee. I'm really into coffee, then come to work. Um, most of my work is really in meetings and mentoring. And then afterwards, when I get home at night, um, I tend to always have dinner with my kids and my family. And then um, I always end the day with uh, like a dancing or running uh, to be followed by meditation before I go to sleep. Sounds like a very busy day. Do you like keeping yourself busy? <laughs> yes, yes, yes. It actually just comes. Like the days are always like, at, at, at the start of the day, it always feels like it's it's there's still a long day but then at night it's like oh no i'm running out of time so it's always that feeling every okay day. are you a morning person no i'm trying to be i'm really trying to be but it really depends on how i um, exercise it really goes around with my fitness routine so before i used to run in the morning that used to be my first thing in the morning but then i fell in love with dancing so it's kind of hard to actually dance in the morning so then it became a night exercise that's why i was switched back to being a night person like six months ago that's a lot of hobbies today um is there any hobby that you'll never give up uh film i love films so that one i usually de-stress over films on the weekends um, and of course dancing or any kind of running or fitness because i really need to move i really believe in movement um, third would be probably nature so walks in nature hiking in nature favorite place to be I love nature because you really see God's creations in nature and you feel Him the most in nature. Okay, wow. Uh, what makes you happy? I love um, seeing um, our people here in Med Grocery happy and fulfilling their meaning and purpose. So that gives me lots of joy. And of course, my kids, because for me, my primary purpose is really for my kids. So now that, that we're on the topic of purpose, uh, tell me more about your business. Medgrocer, we're an end-to-end, one-stop-shop platform, health solutions platform. We offer health solutions all the way from preventive healthcare, all the way to consultant, tel teleconsult, to preventive medicines, to medicine benefits for everyone. And we aim to make um, healthcare accessible to more people and to be more efficient and more low cost. That's such a great business to be in. And, and of course, for the service you do for the country. Uh, being in the medical industry. How long have you been in EO? 12 years. I started with EO back in 2010. Okay. And where do you see your company in 10 years? In 10 years, I hope Medgrocer can be a regional player already in this end-to-end -end health solutions platform. Perhaps even possibly globally. Okay, enough about business. I want to ask you something else. What is the meaning of life for you? For me, the meaning of life is all about growth, growing to be the best person that you can be so that you can fulfill God's will for you to be able to help others, to be of use to others. If you were offered the chance to feel happy all of the time, would you take it? I'm not too sure about happiness because happiness for me is being satisfied all the time and it's hard to grow when you're happy. But I would gladly take to be joyful every day because joy comes with gratitude and that's the gratitude and joy and growth which I aim to be every day. That's great. What is one fact about you that not many people know? I think not a lot of people know that I'm a breast cancer survivor. I definitely, wow, that's, that is a shock to me. Thank you for sharing that. Was that a turning point in your life? Yes, it was. Um, December 2018, when I got diagnosed with breast cancer, that was the moment which really made me look into myself and when the Holy Spirit really, really came into me again and I actually got so much clarity on what to be grateful for, what to really be um, looking out for, what is, it really, really became so clear to me what is important to me and what is the meaning of life. After that experience, what would you tell your younger self? I would tell my younger self, don't be so impatient and trying to be the fastest, the best, 
like in such a little time you have to take the time to really listen think about things listen to people get to know people um, really love people so this is our ops area this is where most of the action happens this is where the picking and packing of the medicines happen where we pick and pack the medicines that we send to the messengers to be delivered to people's homes and offices so this and is here, where the magic happens. And here <laughs> is our inventory center. So this is where most of the high value medicines are actually kept. So we have some cold temperature medicines. Most of them are the vaccines, which we actually, um, we have another vaccine event soon. That's for amazing. EO. That's amazing. Dith. So we're down to the last two questions. So I want to ask, what are you most grateful for in life? I'm very, very grateful for the clarity and purpose that God has given me, especially when I got breast cancer and that really um, sh shone a light on this. Um, so this clarity and purpose to help others and to grow, that is really, really meaningful. Thank you for being so vulnerable. Lastly, what are you most grateful for in EO? I'm very, very grateful for the unconditional support that EORs give me, especially my forum mates on all the my EO groups. The unconditional support, no judgment, and love that I have received really makes my EO and EO um, my tribe. And that's where I feel the most at home. I agree. That's amazing. Thank you for sharing this. Thank you for your time. Thank you. Bye bye. Thank you. Bye bye.